the video of the year has arrived i know i've been saying this for a hot hot minute so hey everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to be going over what i've been up to what i purchased from sephora and other brands and doing this really pretty holiday makeup look so grab your coffee grab your tea your water your i don't know whatever drink of your choice if, if you're into the more chit chatty videos then put this on have a seat, relax, I don't know, just listen to me ramble about the things that I've been doing, the products that I got, and my opinions on what you should pick up and what you can skip. Okay, let's get into it. Hey everyone. Okay, so hopefully my intro was not that long at all and I can get right to the point as to where I've been the last couple of months. I believe the last video I posted was about five months ago. So first off, I come in here I went the shorter route only because I had been growing out this really bad ugly haircut for months if not a year probably a little longer than a year so I am on like my fourth cut trying to fix this hair I don't think I told you guys about my back and like my hip pain and all this stuff which was making it really uncomfortable to sit for long periods of time like filming and talking to the camera and I ended up going to the doctor to help me with my back however I re-injured myself a couple of months ago I want to say like maybe a month ago and I'm back to trying to recover from that then after that in August I actually got braces installed which I can do a whole video on like adult braces and like the different options that they have now i can tell you that i have been like adjusting to them really i would say really well but i mean my lisp is still noticeable when i pronounce some words and that is really all that's been going on just my hair my back and the braces so let's jump right into the next portion of the video which is why you're here and it is to see my sephora slash makeup beauty haul that i have from various stores and or uh online shops so the first brand that i'm going to talk about today is called lights lacquer and it is by kathleen lights here on youtube and she's a really funny content creator here on youtube i picked up her latest collaboration with the Friends television show. Here's the shade The One Wear and this is a limited time only collection so I think once they're gone they're gone and look how cute you guys. Look how cute! Oh my god it's so so like Friends inspired. There's like a little lobster, there's a little coffee mug. I love it. Okay, the moment you've all been waiting for, it is the Sephora haul slash try on review. Let me just talk to you real quick about this Kerastase shampoo sample thingy majingi and I'm just gonna say I tried two of the samples already. I have a third one left and I'm not super crazy about it. It smells nice. It cleans my hair. Would I pay the price tag for the shampoo? Mm, mm, probably not. Uh, I don't know i'm just not like for a shampoo to really wow me my hair must feel and look amazing like straight out of the shower you know but my hair feels like a normal like if i had washed my hair with head and shoulders you know what i'm saying like it doesn't look or feel anything special first things first i saw this all over tiktok and that spray was like the it's called the hydro grip spray and it was all over tiktok because of a Sephora employee who sprayed it on top of an eyeshadow to show that it wouldn't move. So of course, I picked it up. This is called Disco Days. And it comes with the Hydro Grip Primer and the Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. I have tried this before. This is actually really nice. This, you can see I've used it literally twice and I already used a good chunk of it. Uh, I, I had high expectations for this spray based on that TikTok video, which goes to show you that not everything you see on TikTok is going to work for you. Uh, I do think it's nice to prime the skin, so I'm actually going to do the Hydro Grip first, and then I'm going to do the spray as like a priming type of thing, only because I want to show you how this works. 
Oh, I think I forgot to tell you guys earlier about my whole journey with the dermatologist. Uh, as you can see, I have some breakouts on this side of my face and long story short, they were getting infected even though I was not picking at them and the dermatologist basically helped me out with all of that because I didn't want to keep getting like up here you can see I have a scar I didn't want to keep getting scars and I wasn't even picking up my skin yeah so for a couple of months over the summer I was not wearing makeup at all because I needed my skin to heal and yeah that also contributed to me not making any content on here okay so now that we have the primer it is actually really nice it's uh, not super sticky to the touch it doesn't do anything like pore uh, poor minimizing or blurring or anything like that but if you're looking for something that's going to refresh and hydrate your face before you add a layer of foundation that's definitely a good product to add now i'm going to add this on top of that because i think this is more of a refreshing mist than it is a uh what do they call it a setting spray this year foundation is called the 24 hour wear High Perfection Skin Caring Foundation with Sunscreen. This was raved about by the Sephora Associate and I was definitely interested. Like look how luxurious and, and heavy this bottle feels and looks. It's just gorgeous. And the product itself works really nicely. Y'all already know I'm gonna go in with my Real Techniques 200 brush and let me show you the magic of this bottle. I really love this foundation. Like, love the way this looks. And this is supposed to be a full coverage matte foundation. I'm just putting it down. This is supposed to be a full coverage matte foundation and girl, like, there's no matte foundations like this. Look at that. Ooh blended right into my skin tone i don't have to alter it with any other shade perfect my neutral girls are gonna love this because you don't have to grab two different bottles and mix and match and try to figure it out like literally it just blends in it's so and it smells so good i don't know what brujeria is in this bottle but Dior did not come to play. Let me tell you guys, this, woo, this is it. Like if you're gonna get anyone a gift this Christmas, get them this Dior foundation. Okay, as you can see, my skin looks fantastic. I really love this foundation. Next up, what else did I get? Let's see, let's see. Actually, let me talk about this first. I got the Alpha Arditin 2% plus Hyaluronic Acid. This is a serum that you're supposed to wear morning and night to fade any discoloration. I tried it twice and I ended up having like a little bit of a breakout situation, but I wasn't sure if it was this or if it was just like the time of the month thing. So I stopped using this, but I will get back to you on it if I do start using it again just to see what's going on. Okay. I also bought the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist 4-in-1 Mist. This is a hydrating, priming, and setting and refreshing mist. So it's four things in one. It does smell very flowery. If you're not into floral scents at all, then this might not be for you. But I will say that the couple of times that I've used this, my skin looks so good. So, so bomb. I'd probably be returning this because it was not it for me. I also picked up the Dior Rouge Transfer Proof Matte Liquid Lipstick Ultra Pigmented Weightless Longwear in the shade Forever Grace. Let me tell you guys, when they say transfer proof, I was expecting transfer proof, right? Okay, so this is what the color looks like on me and it says transfer proof it is weightless, but I will say, hopefully you can see a little clip or a picture of me using this product. It's not actually transfer proof, and this is really pricey. So I really expected it to be transfer proof, like wow me, you know, but it got on my mask, it got on my drink when I was drinking, and it just didn't, 
just didn't cut it, girl. So this is definitely one of those things that I would suggest if you want something weightless and ultra pigmented, then go for this. But if you want it to be matte and transfer proof, like you're going to be drinking at the club all night, this is not the lipstick for you. But if you don't mind reapplying it throughout the night, then I would suggest this is nice for people like me with dry lips and have uh, like really pigmented lips that really want that nice pigmentation in their lipstick. You're going to get this. I got the shade, she's expensive, and she's an influencer. I haven't decided yet what color I'm gonna use. They are really sheer glosses. One just says pearl, the other one says pink. I'll try these out towards the end of the video just because I already put the lipstick on and I don't wanna mess up my lip. Last but not least, I got the Patrick Ta Double Take Cream and Powder Blush in the shade She's That Girl because we are that girl. And I really wanted like a more pink color. I know it looks super bright in the packaging or on the packaging, but it's not actually that bright. Okay, I'm going to use a smaller fluffy brush. This is called the Eco Tools Full Brush, which is really nice for setting underneath your eye. But today I'm going to use it for this powder. She's that girl. Looks like this. And you get a cream and a powder. I will say you can layer both, but they are both really pigmented. I have tried the cream by itself. Let me do that on one side and then I'll show you the powder on the other side. So this is the cream side, this is the powder side. I don't know you guys, but I'm telling you, whatever brujeria is in this product, it's like well worth your money. A little bit goes a long way. I don't even think you'll be able to finish all of the product that's in here. And the packaging is just so pretty. And this would be a great gift for anybody who loves blush or just in general who wants to experiment with a new brand. After I went to Sephora, I also went to Macy's to check out what they were having on sale and I needed some stuff for my brows and for my concealer. I got the Anastasia Magic Touch Concealer. Girl, let me tell you about this concealer. I was not expecting to love this product as much as I did because I'm usually a drugstore concealer kind of girl. Like, I just put on, you know, my Maybelline Fit Me and I'm Gucci with the coverage. I went two shades lighter just because I knew I wanted to do a more, like, snatched eye look because I know the girlies, you love that kind of look. And I really wanted to play around and do something different today. So the concealer says it is a medium to full coverage blurring concealer that blends smoothly without creasing. I would say you would like this if you would like more of that matte concealer and you're not looking for glowy or hydrating anything. Next up, I got the Benefit The Great Brow Basics in the shade 4. Of It is a set of brow products from Benefit. This is their... What is this? This is their Goof Proof Brow Pencil down here. The middle is the Gimme Brow for full volume. And then the last little one is called Precisely My Brow Pencil for natural hair-like strokes. I'm just gonna use the Goof Proof Brow Pencil today just to like get this video going because we've been here for a hot minute. This is really nice because it is a wider tip and you can do your brows really quickly. For someone who loves to do their brows, I would recommend this as a nice Christmas gift. It comes with three products. The Goof Proof Brow is full size and I think this retails on its own for like 30 bucks or $25 and the whole thing is like 30, 35. So you're really getting a good deal. And I found this at Macy's and like I said, they have all kinds of shades. So check them out. I'm gonna show you real quick how I do my brows. I just spoolie them down so I can see the gaps that I need to fill. And then I use the pencil side. And this is really good for people like me with fuller brows that don't really need like the pencil-like strokes because you're really just trying to fill them in versus like doing the hairs and trying to create a whole brow. I love this. It really helps you get out the door and get your face on. 
Well, actually, it really helps you get your face on and get out the door. Becca G came out with a holiday collection that I picked up during her Facebook Live with Tresluza Beauty. This is the Tres Reinas eyeshadow palette. This is a limited edition for the holidays. If you can get your hands on this, pick this up. Let me show you in a minute what I am talking about. The bundle also came with two brushes. I got the B100 Deluxe Blending Brush and the B101 Classic Blending Brush. These are so, so soft. This is their packaging. These are the brushes I'm going to be using now as we create the holiday inspired look. One more thing that I got was the highlighter palette, which I haven't even opened yet and I probably won't open just yet, but hopefully I can do a little Instagram video with this. I love this packaging. It is so pretty. The artwork is so nice, but more importantly, the eyeshadows, the mirror is detachable. So if you don't want to carry your mirror, you can take it out. Or maybe you want to do your makeup in the car, have your palette on your lap, and you're not struggling trying to hold both things at the same time. I love that she thought of this. For this holiday look, I came up with this, which is a really pretty like pinkish color that matches with the lip that I have on. So I don't know, it doesn't really match my outfit, but you know, we're going for holiday vibes. Using the Thresh Lisa Beauty palette, which is a makeup line by Becky G. And you guys already know, I love me some Becky G because I'm a huge fan of hers. Anywho, I'm going to show you the shades that I use first, and then we'll go into the application as I do it on my more hooded eye. I use this shade here, which is called Año Nuevo. I used Estrellas, Baila, Año Nuevo, and on the inner corner, I used Crystal. Okay, using the B100 and a little bit of this Año Nuevo, I lightly dusted the hood part of my eye, aka the crease. You know, this eye is a little bit more hooded than my other, so I just put it right on top of that hood there. Then I went in with the shade Baila, which is a more pinkish shade, which I thought would match really pretty with my lipstick. I just put it out here, the outer V area, right where the hood meets that outer corner and because your eyes are hooded you're just gonna blend right on top of your hood not so much like trying to get it inside keep adding some more on the outside leaving that middle area completely bare and then i like to do this flicking motion towards the end of my brow here like that just to give the eyeshadow a little bit more of a cat eye effect. Now I'm going to take my finger and go right into that Estrella shade. And for this part, your finger is going to work best. Using the same B100 brush, I'm not getting more product. I'm just going to blend the edges of that yellow gold and hopefully it just meshes with that pink color. I love that these brushes are so soft. They're not harsh and they don't poke your skin. Wash these after using them the first time just to see how they would, if they would shed or if they would be really hard as rocks. Cause sometimes that happens if you get them the first time, they're really nice and then you wash them and they're trash. That didn't happen. Like they're still good. They're not shedding all over the place. Then on the lower lash line, I'm still gonna use this B100 brush and go so ever so slightly on the lower lash line. Then I'm taking the beige Año Nuevo shade with a little bit of that pink candy shade and putting this in the brow bone area. A little bit of crystal and I popped it right on the inside, on the inner corner. And there you have it, you guys. Oh, one more thing. I almost forgot to talk about this Bowler Lash by Benefit so so good let me just do this real quick to show you how good this product is
and there you have it guys this is my holiday thanksgiving i don't even know what i'm gonna call this makeup look hopefully you guys enjoyed this video thanks so much for staying tuned till the very very end i know it's a very long video thank you to everyone who always supports my channel my content on instagram and tiktok i appreciate every single one of you so thank you thank you thank you if you're new here my name is karina also known as glam by Gotti on instagram and tiktok be sure to follow me on there for more shorter clips <laughs> and tips and tricks and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next one till next time bye